Hello everyone, welcome to another 747 update for Copilot CRM, where we go over the most recent features that we've been working on in Copilot and inform uh, you guys, our users, uh, what changes we've made. So uh, there's a huge focus of features released in the last week or so on sequence automations. So we're gonna jump straight in to our marketing tab here and go to automations and then sequence automations and then we'll create a new automation and go over all of the things that we have added in sequence automations. So the first thing we added um, was a new action to be able to create and assign a to-do. Um, so after you've selected your trigger, uh, let's just, for instance, do when an estimate is accepted, there is now a new action to create and assign a to-do. And this will uh, assign the to do to an employee of your choice and you can put the title in here and whenever this action uh, is triggered uh, it'll create a to do and add it to your schedule so great new option there we've added quite a few conditions as well so um, let's just keep this trigger here and look at the new conditions we have uh, the first one that we added is a does not have tag condition so under tags, we have customer does not have a tag. And then you can select the tag that you uh, don't want them to have. So for instance, um, let's say we do customer does not have a mowing tag when the estimate is accepted. Uh, maybe, you mow, maybe you tag your customers whenever they become a mowing customer and you wanna make sure that before you send them maybe uh, an email that they don't have the tag, now you can do that. The next condition we added was does not have a card on file. So an example I could see this being used for is, um, let's say you have an invoices sent and customer does not have a card on file, then maybe you send them an email saying, hey, we just sent you a, an invoice, make sure to please add a card on file when you pay for that invoice. So it's a nice condition there. And then the last one we did um, was does not have a recurring series. So that one is um, right here. Customer does not have a recurring series. Um, so this, you can use this as a, a form of marketing um, if you only want to send certain emails to customers who have not signed up yet for uh, maybe a recurring service that you offer. Um, so those are all the conditions we added. And then we also uh, clarified if else steps in sequence automations. So, um, as you can see now with this else trigger here, you can set up automations that have multiple conditions and then um, uh, multiple actions based on whatever the customer, for instance, fulfills in the conditions. So let's say for instance, you have um, a trigger for when a visit is completed and you have an and condition for the, um, let's see, customer has a tag with a tag and then you have an action. But let's say you want a different action if they don't fulfill this condition. Now you can clarify that you have an else trigger and then you can have a different, um, either a different trigger altogether or the same trigger um, with a different action. So visit is completed, customer has a mowing tag, maybe you send them a text about um, uh, the mowing service you just completed. Um, and then if they don't have that tag, maybe you send them a different text that you've built out. So now we've clarified if else conditions. So those are all the updates we made to, made to sequence automations. Um, really excited to see what you guys uh, start building in there. Maybe post some workflow videos in the Facebook group. Uh, I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, the other updates we have been working on are all... Um, email related. So uh, we have done quite a few things. It's kind of hard to show you on the uh, fr from the user experience side, but we've been hard at work to make sure that uh, emails are quite a bit more uh, reliable and uh, make sure that they're getting delivered where they need to be. And so one of the main things we did is actually separate our services um, for handling marketing emails or mass emailing 
and then transactional emails. So now uh, those two are completely separate. Um, and so we're seeing a lot more reliability um, on the transactional side. So for instance, one-on-one -on -one emails with your customers, emails sent from automations, uh, sending invoices, estimates, uh, those kinds of emails. Um, because we have now a different provider for bulk emailing from the customer list um, uh, for purposes of marketing. So if you were to go to this list and select uh, customers from your list and email from here, this is actually going through a different email provider. It'll look completely the same for you. You won't even notice a difference. Um, but uh, because of doing that, now we have a, a lot greater reliability on some of those more critical emails, uh, like I, I was talking about earlier for transactional emails. So that is that. The last update I wanted to go over was actually in the um, Copilot app. And it's a really simple update. Um, you'll notice now in the menu under support from the app, now you can send a message to support straight from the app. So you can type your message in here, you can click send, and this will go straight to report and you'll get a uh, response to your uh, company email address. So this gives you a way to contact, contact us if you're out in the field. Um, and it's a really nice option. All right, that is all the updates we made to Copilot in the last couple of weeks. I hope you guys are enjoying. As always, we greatly appreciate your feedback and your support, and we are very excited for uh, where Copilot is gonna be headed in the next couple of weeks. All right, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next update.